reduction. So what are we doing around it? Are we showing that maybe 40, 50 percent of our referrals are for one particular reason? Maybe we need to do some school-wide teaching around that. What does that look like? How are we going to correct it? Um, what's nice about it is, again, too, is that the data that comes from the system can um, we can look at, at at supporting students at all levels. We not only are we going to find some school-wide issues, we want, might find some some areas where we need to support our teachers, where we find that we have a one, two, or three teachers that are reporting more kids than than the average number. What are we doing to support them, and how are we? looking to, to find ways that their classroom can be managed in a different way. But um, in addition to that, it, so individually supporting students is that this, this, um, this system will also, um, will also provide student-specific information so that we're not waiting until a kid has 10 referrals to do something, that we can say, wait, at three referrals, what are we doing to support these students? So we are truly supporting and looking at correcting behavior. Um, and, I, I, from a, and when we talk about suspension and expulsions, I really want to look at I, office discipline referral. Usually there's some kind of problem that's, that's happened. We want a, a behavioral error that has occurred, and we want to correct it. But I really like to look at it as being, pro, as being um, uh, preventative on the suspension end. What are we doing? At, oftentimes we have kids in our office. They present to us a few times. Well, the next time they come into my office, they're going to get suspended. But in that meantime, let's do something for this kid and let, how do we strategize around supporting these students. Here I'm going to pass